It's the day you've all been waiting for. Take one. I don't like so much. What's the matter, David? As just eight contestants battle it out for the ultimate prize. Nobody knows what we're doing. This was thrown on us an hour ago. We are cementing our position as the key player in the Irish takeaway market. I think they're kind of all over the place. They're trying to do too much. She had lack of trust in me from the beginning. Mm. Today I'm going to set you tasks to see how you interact with each other and work as a team. Was it necessary to get in a taxi and go to the other yeah. side of Dublin for a plastic right? Hello. Welcome to the Just Eat Apprentice. Good morning, welcome. Now, you're probably wondering what's happening today. Why am I sitting here talking to you? Today I'm going to set you tasks to see how you interact with each other and work as a team. And as you know, team building, working together as a team, is a vital part of the Just Eat Jam. If we don't work effectively together as a team, we lose out. It's not as fun and we're not as competitive. So we need to be good at it. There's going to be two teams today, team one and team two. And we're going to mix you all up, so you're going to have people from different functions in each of the two teams. Ema is observing team number one, and Wise is observe, observing team number one two. And they'll report everything back to Adrian, who's acting on my behalf today. Joe will now introduce the tasks. Listen carefully. I wish you all the very best. The next time I'll see you will be in my boardroom, where Adrian will fire one of you guys. Team one. For any benefits to use and just eat, you can pay by cash or by credit cards. We offer a choice of cuisine and it's all convenient. We would like you to do a 30 second ad. This should be aimed at our target market of 18 to 45 year olds. And the purpose should be to communicate the benefit of ordering online to the potential customers. That it's easy, it's quick and it's reliable. You should be able to get people talking about just eat from this ad. Okay, team two, we've got a task for you. It sounds very similar to team one, but it's not. What we want you to do is we want you to make a 30 second ad to get restaurants to join Just Eat. You need to think outside the box because if we get the customers, we haven't got the restaurants, we haven't got the business. So I want you to think, how would you get a potential restaurant to come on board with us? For the next 30 minutes, both teams must come up with ideas for the adverts they are to film as well as choosing locations. Yeah. And can, what was your, just go through your idea again. I don't think we're, we've any trouble from the other group. Yeah, yeah. The, the next scene needs and to then, be. But and then she placed a note on line. Yeah. Everybody worked really well together. It was really good that everybody had their own input. So we make the phone some, call from a, a landline. phone box or something. From a, <laughs> that would be crazy. Yeah, that's really yeah. funny, yeah. 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 From a make. card phone box. Yeah, there's a phone box. Where is there one? There should be one around here. Phone college. box is very funny. Yeah. 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 It's my my visual of what you're, you're saying is like Ken mm. sitting there on his computer, the yeah. smart way, mm. and then it kind of goes you know into the dream mm -hmm. sequence, yeah. and then it's oh, yeah. Cody, mm. Nicola, yeah. Roshin, and then and you're going, whoo, thank God. Whereabouts is Old Town? Is it the bottom end where Whelan's is? No, no. it's beside Whelan's. Just be, it's, it's before Whelan's. So we could go into the flats. Yeah, we could go into the flats, yeah. Get the tap, get the tap. Um, I think they're actually fantastic. Um, they've got a, uh, a structure, uh, which at the moment I think is going to do well for the team at the moment. So, so far so good, I would say. I'm very optimistic, I think. I mean, they got that structure, as I mentioned, and I think they're going to achieve wonders. So I'm really optimistic with these guys. I think they're doing great. Great at the moment. <laughs> That's what I say. Every time we're going, I'm no credit. Um, so we're just going to use a couch or a chair for that. Are you okay with that? Just okay, over yeah. here in the corner. Yeah. It'll be different curtains, different. Yeah, but... And if they actually sat down and listened to the, what the brief was, um, they would do a far better job at the moment. They're kind of saying they're going to do this, they're going to do that and do the other. They're, they're kind of making a little bit of a meal out of it. Uh, but if they actually would just take a step back for a moment and think about the actual task, they, they uh, I think we would do better. Ken is nominated as Team One's project manager. While David takes control of Team Two. Each team has been supplied with seed money that they can use should they choose. As team one head for props, team two hop into a taxi. The game you are in the middle. <laughs> Just sit on the floor. Just sit on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Is this legal? No. <laughs> Is it legal? Yeah. Are you legal? <laughs> Island, I guess. Because we're going to be here. 
This ain't no Harrow. So just no run Harrow. down for your team by yeah. seeing. 40 minutes into the task and team one still haven't arrived back to film. There's one item that we've been trying to trace all over Dublin and Ken and Cody have gone in Texas to pick it up and put it. What is the item? Uh, uh, Brick. Hey, Brick. Yeah. We found out that both the teams were separated. Uh, they were missing a couple of things. So uh, one team went to get, an, to get a couple of things for their shoot and the other team have now arrived back into the hotel uh, without a couple of members of the team. They were told not to split up, but unfortunately in this case they have. Remember, it's they've got literally an hour and 15 minutes to record now, so hopefully uh, they're going to get their game face on in the next few minutes, so we're, we're going to have to wait and see. Meanwhile, Team 2 have located a noodle bar who are happy to let them film in. Um, I was pretending to be a Chinese restaurant owner. You want chicken? Yeah, yeah. What? Well, nobody knows what we're doing. This was thrown on us an hour ago. Stop now. Team one finally arrived back to film. You know? Doing a video. Hello? Yes. As filming comes to close and footage is sent to editing, both teams must prepare themselves to face Adrian in the boardroom. Hello? Hey, Hi, is that China? Hey, Can I place an order, please? Yes, please. Hello? Can I make an order for a delivery, please? Oh, you don't accept cards. Oh, okay, can I just cancel that order then? Hi, just eat that with your order. Hi, just eat that with your order. Hi, I'm here with your order. Hi, just eat that with your order. Order take away the start with. Thanks very much. Ken, when he, when he said what the objective of the ad was, he said it was to tell people that ordering via the phone was stupid. Yeah. I think that was the word The method used. of no, ordering was, was stupid that, and did, not, did, the, not did, the people. Did you mean to use that word? Use, uh, yeah, of course I did. Okay. Because um, using the phone is a stupid idea. Right, okay, so, 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 so your objective was by telling 90% of people that they're using a stupid method of ordering takeaway, you were going to make them like Just Eat. We were done, we were finished well on time, we did have time to yeah. and go somewhere else. There's taxis available, like. Yeah, yeah. well indeed, you, 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 you had money for tax. Exactly. What did you spend the money on? They spent 70 euro. They spent 70 euro. Yeah, 70 well, what euro. What did you spend 70 euro? Props and taxi. So hang on, the uh, props, the, there was the bread. How, how much was the bread? <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> the bread was already here this morning. Joe threw it at me. <laughs> Okay, well, I, I think uh, I think I've heard enough of this this lot for the moment. Let, let's let's watch another video. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to go a little bit more out and have different scenes that, like, you can actually see, like, like someone in at a, in a home, then another person was in the lift. But I think that if we had someone on the street just walking down or something like that, it was all the same area. And whose fault do you think that was? Kent's. Ever found yourself in this situation? Join Just Eat's growing family of over 750 restaurants and takeaways today and increase your revenue by up to 25%. Not online? No problem. Just Eat's plug and play technology does the work for you. Just Eat are happy to handle credit and debit card orders on your behalf using our secure website. You can rely on Just Eat's 10 years marketing experience with campaigns such as TV, radio, newspaper and online. Log on to www.justeat.ie now to check us out. As far as I can see, that there, are, there are three possible explanations for, for how this went wrong. <coughs> yeah, I, I, I don't think it went wrong for can, can, can I just run, run through the three, yeah. the three possible Absolutely. explanations? So, so the first is that you didn't communicate it clearly enough. Mm -hmm. The second is that the editor is just incompetent. Mm -hmm. And the third is that the editor willfully did something that you didn't ask him to do because he meant to harm the prospects of yeah. the team. No, yeah. I would which, to, which is it? I'd say I it's what Eamor said, he just hadn't got enough time to do it. Actually, your explanation is that 
your, he, he follow, wanted to follow your instructions, he understood your instructions, mm. but your instructions were too complicated to carry out in the time available. Mm. No, I don't think so. I don't think I so. Well, that's that was never, vo that was never voice. Hang, First hang, of all, hang, I don't think it was a bad ad. Hang on a moment. So, so, I think so the, the message got across what that he saying, wanted to convey. Had he had more time, he would have been, been able to follow your instructions. No, Emer said that. Right? But, but you said you agreed with Emer. You had we a specific storyline. that we wanted. Um, Euro symbols to appear in Lisa's eyes, in addition, and we wrote all this out. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> it is now time for Adrian to decide who is the winning team. To me, everyone else in the category is weak, so I have to stand up and take control, you know? In the end, Adrian chooses Team 2 as the overall winners, leaving Ken to pick two members of his team to bring back into the boardroom. How was it decided that you would be the team leader? Um, I suppose I was probably the strongest voice, and I just kind of made put myself in transition. And then again, we did. But then we did. Then we did. Then we did the report. Because I'm team leader, and then he was team leader. Well, that's wrong. No, I didn't actually do that. Well, we'll look at the footage. But was it necessary to get in a taxi and go to the other yeah, side, double for a plastic brick? Didn't see if we didn't want anyone dropping. You didn't want to pick up a brick yourself. No, I, I, I would pick up a brick, no problem. But you would have picked it up, no problem, so why didn't you? Because someone else was going to use it, and if they dropped it and broke their foot, someone that's else going is to fall back to me. It? Wait, you were using it? I wasn't using it. Okay, Cody was going to use yeah, it. Yeah, but if he drops that you and broke his foot, I'm going, I'm going to feel guilty over him breaking a toe or something. So, are you, so you're seriously telling me the, the reason health you took a taxi across Dublin was because of health and safety concerns of my, of my, about picking of up my members. Break. I think we've reached the end of the road. This, uh... This hasn't been a good day for, for the team of Cranks. Uh, the end product was poor. The fundamental strategic decision that drove it was the wrong one. You s wasted your money, you broke the rules, and you drove across Dublin to pick up a plastic brick for totally spurious health and safety reasons. So, because of all of that, Ken, you're fired. <laughs> 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 <laughs>